Hey guys, welcome to a tutorial by Drew Brew. Today I'm going to be working on a 3D printable 608 bearing. And this is a tutorial for Shaper 3D. It's an app on iPad Pro with Apple Pencil. So we're going to start out by uh, making the circles. Obviously the inner is 8 millimeters and the outer is 22 millimeters uh, for the 608. And uh, making it 1.6 millimeters offset just because for a 3D printer that's four layers of a four millimeter nozzle. So what I'm going to do is I put it up by eight millimeters, 0.8 millimeters, uh, just because I separated them into little steps. Uh, so it's basically going to be like a train wheel. And what I'm doing here is I'm just mirroring my design. Uh, that way it's going to be sharp edges. Also, as a side note, I'm adding that extruding of 0.1 millimeter to a total of 0.2 millimeter uh, when I do the mirror, just because I wanted to have that base layer, so it has a spot where it like uh, separates the ridges. level it out to seven millimeters up top. And then after that, we have to connect everything with union. Uh, that way it's one piece. And now we can start on the wheels after we check that everything is good. So what we need to do for the wheel is to have a spacing uh, between the parts uh, of 0.2 millimeters. Uh, I wouldn't go any less than that because it'll be too tight. Uh, any more than that, and it'll be too loose and it might fall out. Uh, so 0.2 millimeters, uh, in my experience with uh, all sorts of bearing projects, was that this is the best way to do it. And we're basically gonna have the same approach to the wheel as we did to the rest of the design. Uh, we're just gonna do it the opposite end. And once more, we're gonna add that point end layer and mirror that for a total of 0.2 millimeters. We have that later layer of separation. And some of this may not make sense unless you have a 3D printer, but just bear with me and uh, know that I'm doing the best uh, with 3D printing. Since this is focused on 3D printable bearings. And once more, you just have to lower that to make sure that you're not higher than 7 millimeters because you are using this for projects that do require six way bearing. Once again, you use Union to connect it as one piece. and. After that, we have to rotate it to make sure that we have wheels that fit all around. And what I did is I just guessed it at first, checked how many wheels would fit, and then I did a calculation. So I basically divided 360 degrees by nine wheels. And then I rotated each of them by 40. And then what I did after that, I just selected three and rotated them by 120 degrees each to get a total of nine. And the second one's obviously 240. And there we go, we got our bearing. Now just for a few final finishing touches, I wanna smooth out the bottom a little bit just because when you're printing, the first layer tends to connect if it's too close. So I'm gonna soften the wheels so that it prints a little bit further away from the center and outer diameter. And the 
last step I'm going to do, because I missed it in the beginning, is I have to make holes in the wheel so that the walls of the print would be uh, clear. Because I don't want a square anywhere on a wheel, right? So we wanted to print circles, not squares. And for the slicer to do what you want, you have to make holes inside. And what I could have done, obviously, is just make uh, the hole in, in one and then rotate that and it'll be copied. But I forgot to do that, so I'm going to have to do each one of them individually for this step. And there we have our hole, and that ensures that the slicer will comply with what we wanted to do. So I had deemed that term slicer manipulation. I have some videos on that. But all that's left is to make it look good. Obviously, if you have a multicolored printer, you can print it this way. I just have the one printer, I printed it as one color. But here is a 608 3D printable bearing, optimized again for 3D printers. And this is just so you can use this method to design other bearings. I've made it in many different sizes, they have all worked. Uh, you just have to keep the principle of a 0.2 millimeter distance and you have to make sure that there's as many circles as fit in there. So hey, I hope you like that and I hope that you come back for more. Subscribe like this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.